Welcome back. Now, as the war between Israel and Hamas escalates, innocents continue to suffer on both sides. However, apologists in India are indulging in politics. The jamaat e islami Hind delegation met the Palestinian ambassador and extended their support to Palestine in view of the situation currently unfolding in Gaza. The five-member delegation was headed by the jamaat e islami Hind president, Syed Sadatullah Husseini. Yesterday, as many as 15 India Alliance leaders, including current and former members of parliament, also met Palestinian envoy and equated Israel's actions to an attempted genocide, expressing concern of the plight of Palestinians. But while India Alliance members and also the Jamaat have been vocal about the Palestinian cause, the statement issued by both of them had no mention of the terror that was unleashed by Hamas in Israeli towns starting the 7th of October. If silence on Hamas is questionable, what is even more disturbing is the attempt to give a clean chit to these terrorists. The Uddhav Thakre faction, member of pa parliament Sanjay Raut, claimed that uh, Hamas is not responsible for the barbaric acts on Israel, on Gaza. Uh, in fact, he's uh, come out and said that one can't be blaming the Hamas for what happened in Israel. Let's listen to what he claimed. युद्ध भी कानून से लड़े जाते हैं महाभारत और रामायण को जो युद्ध हुआ उसमें भी कानून था और नियम था लेकिन मैं जो युद्ध देख रहा हूं जिस निर्भुण तरीके से गाजा में हमले हो रहे हैं उनका कोई ना ना हमास से संबंध है ना किसी और संगठन से संबंध है मेरे अस्पताल पर हमला होना ये ठीक नहीं है अस्पतालों के ऊपर बम गिराए जाते हैं बच्चे औरतें बूढ़े जवान सबको कत्ल किया जाता है इट्स लाइक अ जेनोसाइड बिकॉज इट्स वेरी अनफॉर्चुनेट यू नो वी हैव नॉट सीन हॉलोकॉस्ट टुडे दिस द सेम कम्युनिटी इज कमिटिंग एट्रॉसिटीज ह्यूमन राइट्स वायलेशन रोज बरोज जो खून बहाया जा रहा है जिसमें हमस ने एक अटैक किया उसको हम कंडेम करते हैं उसमें भी बच्चे मारे गए उसमें भी बूढ़े मारे गए मगर आज जो इसराइल करता है इट इज स्टेट टेररिज्म तो इसको जितना भी कंडेम किया जाए वो कम है और एट द सेम टाइम द इशू हैज टू बी रिजॉल्व नाउ so that was mehbooba mufti describing what uh, israel has done as state terrorism though she did condemn the original attack on the part of hamas waged on the 7th of october uh, let me in fact go across to mohit but for more on this mohit uh, the entire conflict uh, in israel as well as uh, gaza has now divided the polity here in india as well uh, Sanjay Raut and Mehbooba Mufti, among others, blaming Israel directly for the latest hospital attack that's taken place in Gaza yesterday. Well, yes, in fact, Adan, we have seen host of reactions coming in from opposition parties, specifically from Shiv Sena, Congress, and the likes of Mehbooba Mufti, who has clearly uh, blamed Israel for the hospital attack. In fact, uh, since starting, they have been saying this, that Israel is using uh, the attack by Hamas to capture the territory of Gaza, to kill innocent civilians in Gaza. And that is why we see that how uh, the opposition party leaders are coming out. They're meeting the Palestinian ambassador. They're coming out and they're basically condemning the attack by Israel. But the question that the BJP here is asking that why exactly the opposition parties are not condemning and in fact condoning uh, the, uh, uh, the, the attack by the Hamas, which is a terrorist organization. If you look at the CWC resolution, it clearly talks about the Israel occupation of Palestine, but does not reflect anything on on the Hamas terror attack. And similarly, when the opposition party's leader met Palestine ambassador day before yesterday, clearly we saw that how uh, they all came out when they spoke to Times now, they clearly stated that uh, what Israel is doing is something which is not acceptable. The world should unite over this. But they did not say anything on the terror attack of Hamas where innocent Israeli uh, women, elderly, they were killed, they were captured, and still many of them are in captivity. And we see Sanjay Raut and Mabuba Mufti towing the same line. Mabuba Mufti is calling the genocide, uh, genocide in Palestine and she is blaming Israel for that and we see that leaders are questioning the silence of India also they are saying that why India is taking side of Israel but India has made it clear that there is no term like good terror or bad terror. terror terrorism should be condemned terrorism brings uh, brutality and India has been the victim of terror attacks uh, since past 75 years so we understand that how dangerous terror terrorist organizations are for the humanity and that is why we have condemned terror so clearly uh, the BJP is asking
asking why the opposition parties are not raising questions on Hamas, okay. which is a terrorist organization, while the opposition parties are saying that what is happening in Palestine, the world should unite, sure. but they're still not saying anything on Hamas. Right. So the BJP critical of the kind of reactions that have come from the opposition camp so far. The Congress party has now responded as well, claiming that the world must condemn the attack on Gaza. Violence must stop in Gaza immediately. That's the claim now coming from the Congress. Gaza me. युद्ध तत्काल रुकना चाहिए हिंसा हर हालत में रोकी जानी चाहिए विश्व के सारे नेताओं को प्रयास करना चाहिए कि दोनों तरफ जो हिंसा हो रही जो लोग मारे जा रहे हैं उन्हें बचाया जाना चाहिए निर्दोष नागरिकों को पांच से लोग मारे गए हैं इसमें किसकी आत्मा द्रवित नहीं होगी दुखी नहीं होगी पीड़ा नहीं पहुंचेगी युद्ध को हिंसा को तत्काल रोके जाने के प्रयत्न करने के लिए सबसे आग्रह करता